The Situation Room with Wolf Blitzer, weekdays 4 Eastern. The former governor of Massachusetts, the former GOP uh, Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney. Uh, governor, thanks very much for coming in. Thanks, Wolf. Good to be with uh, you. I again. read your latest piece on, in National Review online, a very tough critique of the current president of the United States. And, and let's talk a little bit about some of these very sensitive issues. I'm going to play a little clip of what he said today about his number one priority. I wake up every day thinking about how to keep the American people safe. And I go to bed every night worrying about keeping the American people safe. All right. Uh, what do you think? Uh, is he doing a good job keeping the American people safe? Well, I'm glad that that's his number one concern, because that ought to be the number one concern of the president. Uh, that's exactly the same comment that uh, President Bush indicated when uh, uh, he was leading the country. So that's the right thing to think about. I I'm concerned that uh, over the last several weeks, the president has been uh, in a summit of the Americas as well as being in Europe. And in each case, he has not risen to defend America or to defend freedom. Uh, instead, he has seemed to uh, join into what Charles Crowder called the mea culpa tour, uh, looking at ourselves and criticizing America, particularly when Daniel Ortega uh, takes America to task uh, for, uh, uh, for trying to overthrow Castro. Uh, that was an opportunity for the president to stand up and boldly defend freedom and democracy and to, uh, to chastise Cuba for not having provided those kinds of freedoms to its own people. This, this is a president who I, I think is still uh, looking to find his sea legs in this regard to make sure that he can, he can stand and defend the, the purposes of freedom. He is the leader of the free world, and that has a responsibility which goes beyond just talking about our own mistakes. But he's basically implementing now the foreign policy uh, campaign pledges he made over many months and even a couple, a couple of years. Uh, he said he would reach out to uh, countries like Iran. He would try to change U.S. policy towards Cuba. Uh, he would uh, start withdrawing U.S. combat forces from Iraq. Isn't he just implementing what he promised he would do and uh, policies that the American people overwhelmingly uh, voiced their support for during the election? Uh, I, I don't think overwhelming uh, support for all those policies uh, came through. Well, he had a landslide uh, in, in, in the electoral in, college. In, in, the, in the election, uh, there were a lot of things talked about during the campaign. But I, I do believe this, that when liberal commentators uh, like Gene Robinson of the Washington Post take him to task, as he did today, uh, for not standing up to Chavez and, uh, and uh, Ortega, uh, you're, you're recognizing that people on both sides of the aisle are a little surprised that when individuals attack America, and question America's resolve and its commitment to freedom and democracy, that the president doesn't have anything to say about that. That, that I think, is very disappointing. But the, the bigger concern on my part is that there have been two momentous uh, events in the last several months of a foreign policy nature. One is the testing of a long-range missile by North Korea, and the other is the announcement by Ahmadinejad of Iran uh, that they've uh, mastered all the steps necessary to enrich uranium. Both of these are game-changing uh, uh, events. And, and President Obama has not only uh, not taken bold action in this regard, he doesn't well, indicate he's going to take let bold me, action. Let me ask you, uh, on these two sensitive issues, North Korea, what would you have done? Well, with North Korea, I'd have made it very clear that we're not taking military options off the table, rather than saying there's, quote, nothing we can do about it. I'd make, make it very darn clear that America intends to defend itself and that North Korea continuing to flaunt its agreements is not something which we're going to find acceptable. And uh, the unanimous, uh, unanimously approved statement from the United Nations Security Council warning North Korea of further sanctions, uh, that's not good enough? Well, we've had so many warnings from the uh, uh, United Nations about things North Korea is not supposed to do, which it immediately flaunts, uh, that I don't get a lot of uh, comfort in, uh, in looking to the United Nations to uh, rein in North Korea or, for that matter, Iran. In both cases, uh, they, they proceed regardless of what the United Nations has to say. So what uh, would United you do Nations about Iran? Well, with regards to Iran, and in both cases, by the way, military options don't have to be exercised, uh, but I think they have to be on the table. At the same time, we do have economic options. And we and our friends around the world can make it very difficult for them to get commercial credit, to get banking access, to be able to move goods in and out of their ports. There are a lot of things we can do short of military action that, uh, uh, that can have an impact. But sitting back and just talking is not going to do anything to get North Korea or to get Iran to become reasonable and, uh, and backing away from this nuclear brinkmanship that they're pursuing. You agree with him there are glimmers of hope now as far as the U.S. economy is concerned? 
You know, there are glimmers of hope and there are glimmers of despair, both. Uh, there's good news and bad news. I think it's very early to read what's going to be happening. I certainly hope we see the economy turn around. I hope the president is, is successful in that regard. I think the Republican stimulus bill was better than the president's. Uh, his has a lot of waste in it. He seems to be unwilling to rein in excessive spending. His budget is a nightmare and, uh, and as Senator Judd Gregg indicated, could bankrupt America. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge mistake in my view, but, but the economy... That's going to turn around. Always has. Always will. Uh, the question is, will Barack Obama's plan ha have helped it or have hurt it? And right. I'm afraid in many cases he's hurt more than helped. We're out of time, but uh, are you already running for 2012? Uh, no, that's way beyond the horizon. What I'm uh, trying to do is to help Republicans get elected in 2010 so we can bring some balance to the democracy in Washington again. But you're thinking about it. Uh, no, I'm thinking about uh, the book I'm working on and thinking about helping some Republicans get elected.